The first thing, the word Israel. You have to understand the word Israel came from the name of Yaqub alayhi salam, Jacob. You see, if you read Bible, it says that Jacob wrestled God. I don't want to go into anomalies or these kind of things. How would they enter these kind of things in the book of God? But they say Jacob wrestled God and God changed his name from Jacob to Israel. So far, so good. El in Hebrew means God, Allah. Isra means like fighter, mujahid or whatsoever in a loose term. Like a first person who fought with God or the person who fight for the cause of God. So Israel means this. When Quran says, Ya Bani Israel, Quran says that, O oh, children of Israel, meaning children of Yaqub alayhi salam, 12 children. The second thing in Quran, you find several times Yehuda, Yehudi. This is the people, the children who were born from the progeny of Judah, Judah. And he was one of the sons of Jacob, Jacob, Yaqub alayhi salam, according to the Bible in Islam. So when Quran addresses Yehudo, meaning the people who uh, lived in the city of Judah or from the fair progeny of Judah itself both means they are addressed but when Quran says Ya Bani Israel everyone addressed in it now Abraham to Abraham you see in the Bible in Genesis chapter 17 which I'm gonna elaborate today exfoliate today inshallah over there it says that Abraham was changed to Abraham when he was circumcised when he was 99 years old. God Almighty took, a, ev took an everlasting covenant between Abraham and himself, God Almighty, that he shall be circumcised of his foreskin, not from heart, which Paul said it. I don't want to go into that. And this covenant will be amongst the progeny till everlasting, like till the day of judgment or Yom al -Qiyam. So God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham, which means the father of the nations, not nation, not only Jews, nations, plural. Genesis chapter 17, which I'm going to inshallah elaborate while clearing these all terminologies first. So similarly, Sarai was changed to Sarah or Sarah, whatever the pronunciation the American would like to say, but we usually say Sarah. And she was the first wife of Abraham alayhi salam. And her name also changed from Sarah, Sarah to Sarah from the Bible, Genesis 17, and then changed into Sarah when she was given a good news that she's going to bear a son, Isaac, which is mentioned in Genesis chapter 18. 